The title for my final project is Let Down My Hair. Um, a contemporary short drama which is maximum of 10 minutes in length um, and it's based on a classic fairy tale story of Rapunzel. Um, the intended audience is mainly a female demographic of all ages. Um, I'm going to take this classic fairy tale story of Rapunzel and change it into a new contemporary story which a new audience can relate to. Um, it includes an, the issue of cancer and it ex explores themes of jealousy, unconditional love and insanity. Um, I'll be approaching this by using an artistic avant-garde style of filmmaking and I'm going to be making small references to other classic fairy tales which an audience will recognise. Um, I think my piece will fit into the current media very well because it's being created at the perfect time as there's a new Disney film coming out in cinemas called Tangle this month which tells the story of Rapunzel. Um, the media seems to follow trends um, in the industry so it's, as this film's coming out there's been a lot of fairy tale imagery used in recent adverts. Um, I think my piece is a different take, it's a more adult version of the story of Rapunzel um, and I think that's why it'd be brilliant in film festivals as it's got an avant-garde artistic style. Um, the public would find it interesting as it's a new idea and it explores um, what serious issues could be lurking in the depths of fairy tales. Um, as I just said about, I think my film would be brilliant in film festivals because um, of its avant-garde and artistic style. So I researched a couple of film festivals where the timing will be perfect to enter our piece. Um, one is the Rain Dance Film Festival, which is Europe's leading independent film festival. And that runs from the 28th of September to the 9th of October 2011. Also, um, the Rushes Soho Shorts Film Festival, which is in London, and the deadline for that is the 20th of April. Um, also, I have a contact at um, Virgin Media who said that he might be able to get our film on Virgin Media Shorts. Um, the budget for this film is 250 to £300, and this breaks down into props, makeup and actors which you'll need three of and travelling to and from locations. Um, to get this money we'll be doing a number of activities um, which will help fundraise. Um, this project I think is going to be very successful um, as I'm really proud of the story that I've written um, and I'm really interested in the themes that it includes. Um, I feel I have good skills in cinematography and I'll be able to produce some really nice uh, effective shots um, to make it sort of um, experimental and avant-garde. Um, also I feel I'm motivated and I've got good organisation skills um, and this will, I'll create a plan and stick to it and it'll make the project stress-free and enjoyable. Um, also I'm a keen editor so I'm looking forward to this process and um, getting working with Final Cut. Um, the plan for this project is to first off do fundraising to uh, get the budget for our piece and while we're doing fundraising we're also going to be scouting locations, storyboarding which we're going to get um, the guys over at Graham Sullivan to produce for us so they look professional um, and then do test shoots and while this is all going on put out a casting call and hold auditions to get our actors then once all that's sorted we'll do start shooting which we're going to have about three to four days hopefully and then edit and then finish. This is the creative, creative artefact that myself and Michelle have made to support this presentation so hope you enjoy. Once upon a time there was a baby orphan named Rapunzel. She grew up into a beautiful young girl who was extremely loved amongst all her peers. She was widely known for her luscious hair that was long enough to touch the ground. She strongly believed in world peace 
and wanted to change the world we live in some day. One day, she was called into the doctor's surgery. As she was waiting to be seen, she noticed a big bowl of delicious red apples. She couldn't resist but to take one, but after only one bite, she was called into the doctor's room. She tossed the apple down onto the table and it slowly rolled away. As she was sat in the room, she recognised the doctor sitting in front of her from the orphanage where she grew up. A quiet girl who Rapunzel barely used to notice. With a devilish look in her eye, the doctor announced, I'm sorry, Rapunzel, I've got some terrible news. You've got cancer of the heart and you only have a few more weeks to live. Also, I'm afraid all your beautiful hair will die and fall out. Rapunzel was horrified and fled from the doctor's room in tears. She ran all the way home to her little house in a sweet little village, ran up the stairs and locked herself in her tiny bedroom. She went to her mirror and started to play with her hair, like she always did when she was feeling down. A small piece of hair fell out into her hands and she burst into tears and collapsed into a heap on the floor. A few days passed and Rapunzel felt exhausted. Her room was dark and cold and all her beautiful clothes were thrown on the floor, as well as one of her glamorous glitter heels just laying on the floor beside her. Most of her hair had fallen out and she seemed to have lost her mind, along with all her positive energy and glowing beauty. But then, a handsome young fellow, who used to live with Rapunzel back in the orphanage, was walking past Rapunzel's home. He liked to walk past every day and admire the pretty little home that Rapunzel had made for herself. But today was different. The house had lost all its enchantment and there seemed to be a curse surrounding the home. He tried the door but it was locked and he looked through the downstairs windows but it was too dull to see inside. He then noticed a flickering candle in the upstairs window and started to toss stones up calling Rapunzel, Rapunzel. A shadowy figure was approaching the window and he expected to see his beautiful Rapunzel with long golden hair but what appeared was a young girl he almost didn't recognise. She opened the window and looked out. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, what's happened to your beautiful hair? The boy called up. Rapunzel didn't say any words, but she dropped down a long piece of golden hair, which the boy caught in horror. Fear not, my dear Rapunzel, you're still as beautiful as before. Run away with me and we'll live happily ever after. Rapunzel was overwhelmed with the boy's kindness and ran down the stairs and fell into his arms. He gave her her first kiss and promised he was going to make her last days the best days of her life. They walked off together, following a trail of roses into the sunset hand in hand, Rapunzel's long silk headscarf blowing in the wind behind her. The end. To sum up in three key points while I'm, why I'm excited to make this project and why it's realistic is number one, the project's very realistic as there is no special effects or high budget, just creativity that both me and, me and Michelle have. Um, number two, very excited to take this project forward into 361 MC as the genre is very girly and um, artistic which I'm very passionate about. Um, the style experimental is quite new to me and I was able to explore it a little bit in um, 360MC so I'm excited to take that forward and challenge myself developing it more. Um, number three, very excited um, to create something I'm proud of and that I can show to the media industry and put into film festivals and also to put on my showreel to show future employees.